We got the epic Madden Daily showdown going on today between me and Lights Out. Madden Daily Spacecom is his gamer tag. We played this game a couple months back, or yeah, like a couple of months back. It, it was a part of the, I want to say it was a part of the 1 million coin or 750,000 coin uh, tournament that I have been posting uh, a couple of times the last month. I stopped posting because I wanted to show you guys some more pack openings, some special like throwback flashback packs. Uh, some player reviews and also some player gameplays. So I really stopped uh, playing it, but I always wanted to show you guys this gameplay because you guys always ask who's better, me or lights, and you guys finally get to see how we play when it comes down to it. He's running um, New Orleans on offense. I'm running Arizona on offense just because of the sole fact that he create him and Fiasco created the New Orleans scheme, so he knows every single tidbit about it, knows how to stop it, knows how to lock it down knows what to run against it, doesn't really know exactly how to stop the Arizona split close scheme with the single back snugs. I mean, he does know how to contain it, but he doesn't really see it a lot. Uh, he didn't create the format, well, he didn't create plays out of the formation. So right here on a fourth and five, ends up throwing, throwing us some heat. He was running a lot of 3-3-5 odd out of the New England Patriots playbook. End up getting a turnover on downs, We're running that 3-4 odd that we're still running currently to date. It's my favorite defense in the whole entire game right now. Definitely comes screaming. Third and 11 ends up throwing a, eh, a little bit of a weird pass right there. Gets the aggressive catch, but ends up completing, getting the first down. And then he ends up running to the right side, gets the first down right there. Second and 12, setting some heat, ends up dumping it off really quickly. He knows that the kryptonite to the single back tight slot is 3-4 odd, and that's exactly what I'm running. And he's getting the ball off quickly, very sharply. Uh, he's getting timely throws, uh, like a two-step drop back, and then he's getting rid of the ball. And exactly that's how he gets his first score. Very good, smart player by Lights. Ends up scoring first. Now, we got to do something on offense since we got stopped our first game, our first drive. I notice he's running a lot of 3-3-5 odds, so we got some plays for that. That's not really, you know, an exact good play for it. He had Night Train Lane over there contained against OBJ. That's just an aggressive catch cheese that I like doing sometimes. I actually thought he was in a yellow and that OG bit o OBJ was going to fly off of him, but that's not ended up what happened. I had to hold Y for the aggressive catch. That's why I like having OBJ out there just for a bailout option in, in case his cornerback keeps up with me. I could hold Y uh, in case I need that, <laughs> and that's exactly what happens. So we end up scoring on that drive clearly. Uh, so he takes over right before the first half ends. He's throwing dipping dots right across the field. Hits the middle of the field uh, to number 89. Great play. But we're sending heat, getting it to him. That's why he has to drop back and he has to get rid of the ball right here. Great find by him. The pressure was right in his face. Finds his receiver for the touchdown. He goes up 14-7 and now he gets ball at half. So we are in a very bad predicament, especially since we're playing Pete. We're lights out because he's so good, especially if you give him a seven-point lead and then ball at half. So we got to try and do something. We send an A-gap his way, and we end up getting the incomplete pass. I don't know how he got that ball out. But third and eight, he ends up trying to hit his receiver. He didn't turn around in time. I guess he threw that too early. His receiver wasn't ready. I get a little bit lucky. But he ends up getting the fourth and eight conversion on the curl route. Ends up finding the open, open zone. But... Second and 12, boom, lights out, <laughs> we end up rocking his world, we end up getting the turnover on down, oh not the turnover, we end up getting the fumble, and then more importantly, the fumble recovery, and we're trying to get, uh, we're trying to score now, tie up the ball game right before the fourth quarter starts, so first and 10, we end up running a little play action, we find our opponent, or we find our receiver, Hines, we're getting wide open in the corner of the end zone, he beat his man coverage defender, and we end up tying the game 14, all oh, this game is turning out to be a great game, so let's see what can happen in the last 3 minutes and 40 seconds, or 4 minutes and 40 seconds, I think there's a 3 minute quarters, I'm not really sure, um, I kind of forgot, <laughs> so let's see what ends up happening, uh, so first and 10, he just keeps dumping it off to the HB wheel route. He keeps putting out two flat zones and then the wheel. Almost acting like a makeshift screen. So it's a very smart concept, especially for the blitz that I'm sending because I'm overloading one side. And he's uh, throwing it to the open the open side where there's uh, no blitzers. So third and five ends up converting. I'm really starting to get risky with my 
with my adjustments i noticed that it's coming down to the wire so i'm starting to put people's in flats i'm starting to re yellow people like right there that's a perfect adjustment that i made just did not pay off specifically because it didn't go for the pick and the fourth and five we over adjust leave his left wide receiver wide open and he's going to end up taking it in for six and we're down by seven ladies and gentlemen we are down by a touchdown right before the two minute warning and kicking the ball off we end up receiving it so we just like to take the ball out. we i highly recommend you not taking the ball out uh, especially when you are in a close game like this the last thing you want to do is lose the game because you get a hit stick fumble so right here we end up going with the the screen we actually get lucky they don't call blocking in the back uh, on those plays for some reason because that was clearly a block in the back and then we just end up taking the ball with Bo Jackson once we get a first down and then we're gonna end up putting the ball in Bo Jackson's hand for a second time but this time it's gonna be in for six and we have tied this ball game once again this time at 21 so now we're gonna bring in the epic music what is going to happen are we gonna get the stop are we gonna prevail are we gonna not give up the touchdown <laughs> he ends up beating my guy I was very upset with this play call because I was in cover three and I pressed them I do not I did not know in tight slots you can motion that guy out and get a turbo boost and beat cover three I'm pretty sure you can beat cover four did not think you can beat cover three so he ends up scoring and now we got a match his score with three timeouts and we end up going deep to Jackson and we end up getting the ball intercepted that's a design play for that especially when it's cover three I do that on purpose guys I throw the ball up especially like that because I know one-on-one -on -one just uh, not to Sean Jackson Vincent Jackson is very good but we still have a chance third and six we got one timeout remaining he ends up throwing the ball to the right side or running it to the right side gets the first down and that's gonna be the end of the ball game ladies and gentlemen we end up losing the Pete lights out very good game you guys have now seen it Pete has beat me in a mutt game very good job to Pete uh, lights out he ends up beating me this game he's the better opponent shout out to him wouldn't want to lose to anyone uh, other than him make sure you guys like comment subscribe that's gonna be the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed peace